Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to do logarithms, a mathematics lesson. We already have the question on the board, whereby we are told to solve for x, to solve for x, in the equation, the logarithm of x to base 2, everything squared, minus the logarithm, x squared to base 2, equals to 15. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with your friends. Let us look at the solution to this question. There are lots of logarithms which are supposed to be engaged in the solution of this question. And one is, because we can see there is a power here, then we can engage the law which says that when we have the logarithm of maybe a raised to a certain index n, this is solved by taking the logarithm of a and we drop the index such that it becomes a scalar multiplier to the logarithm. So this means this term in the equation can be expressed as logarithm to base 2 of x, this one is squared, then minus, we drop the 2 here now, so the power it becomes now 2 multiplied by the log of x to base 2 equals to 15. Then after this now, we can see the logarithm of x to base 2 is appearing several times. We also have logarithm of x to base 2. Therefore, we can let the logarithm of x to base 2 to be another unknown, say t, so that because we have logarithm of x to base 2, everything being squared, now this part becomes t squared, t squared, then minus 2 multiplied by t, so 2t, equals to 15. So now from here, we can rearrange the equation so that we arrive at t squared minus 2t and we bring 15 here, making it negative, equals to 0. So now we can solve it quadratically, in which case we can get a product of a times c, whereby it is negative 15 times 1, which is negative 15, then a sum of the value at b, which is negative 2. So the two terms, whose product is negative 15, and sum negative 2, are negative 5 and positive 3. So now we can replace negative 2t with negative 5 and positive 3, such that we will have uh, this one becoming a uh, t squared, then minus 5t, positive 3t, minus 15, equals to 0. Then in every two terms, we factor out such that we have t which is common, so we remain with t minus 5, plus 3, we remain with t minus 5, equals to 0. So that will pick t plus 3, and t minus 5, equals to 0, so that we put each factor to 0 independently. t plus 3 equals to 0, which means t is negative 3. And again, t minus 5 equals to 0, means t equals to 5. But remember, it is the logarithm of x to base 2, which we had led to be t. Therefore, we can see now the logarithm of x to base 2 equals to negative 3 or the logarithm of x to base 2 equals to 5. So we have two logarithm expressions here which we are now going to change them from logarithm form to index notation such that because we have the log of x to base 2 equals to negative 3 in index form we will say 2 raised to negative 3 becomes x. So 2 power negative 3 should give us x or 2 raised to 5 should give us x should give us x from that step now we can get the values of x 
that the first x becomes according to the laws of indices when the power is negative we take the reciprocal of the number and now the power assumes a positive sign or x equals to 32 so one value is that 2 and the other value at this end is going to be 1 out of 8 so that is how we solve for the value of x in such a question thank you for following subscribe and share this link